Assalamu alaikum. This is Abid Kazmi and you are on Maths Mentor. In this video, person problems will be discussed. Those includes finding person, finding part, and finding total. Let's start the video. Before person problems are started, express 8 20th as a percent. Eight twentieth is the fraction that means eight out of twenty. Suppose there is a figure that is divided in twenty equal parts, and out of these twenty parts, eight parts are shaded. This is what the fraction eight twentieths means. To express this fraction as a percent, this needs to be expressed out of percent. To divide this figure in hundred equal parts. Each of these 20 parts should be divided in 5 more parts because 5 times 20 equals 100 like this. Since this figure has now 100 equal parts so its shaded parts can be counted to express this as a percent. Let's count together 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 and 40. The new equivalent fraction of 820th is 40 hundreds or 40 out of 100. That means 820th is 40 percent. Well, it is, it is not necessary to draw figure of fraction to express that as a percent. The main idea of expressing as a percent is just express the fraction out of 100. The denominator of 820th can be converted to 100 from 20 by multiplying it with 5, like this. The same number is also multiplied with the numerator, so 8 times 5 equals 40. 40 hundreds is same as 40 percent. Now let's start discussing percent problems. When our percent problems are solved, these four numbers are dealt. Out of these four numbers, this one number is constant that never changes. But remaining three numbers change problem to problem. So let's write their names instead of 8, 20 and 40 to have their general equation. 8, means 8 parts out of 20 total parts. That means 8 is our part and 20 is total. After expressing this fraction out of 100, this 40 was found which was percent. So replacing 40 with percent. This is the general equation that is to used to solve all kinds of percent problems. When percent problems are discussed, the three cases are possible. Case 1 where percent is to be found, part and total are given. Case 2 where total is to be found, part and percent are given and case 3 where part is to be found total and percent are given these three could be different cases of finding percents but the good news here is that this single equation is used to solve all of them just given values are put in this equation and this equation is solved for the unknown next keep this basic equation of find percent problems up here and try to solve this question yourself what percent of 25 is 15? Given values are put in this basic equation of percent problems. What pro percent means percent is unknown that is to be found. Of 25 means 25 is total. And 15 is part here. Now we just need to solve this equation to find the value of percent. This has been already discussed how equations are solved for the values of unknown. If you have forgot, please stop this video and review the topic of solving equation first. Okay. To find the value of percent, this 100 needs to be removed from this side of equation. Since 100 is dividing percent, multiplying 100 on the both sides. This 100 cancels this 100 and percent is separated out on the one side of the equation. Now simplify the other side of equation for the value of percent.
the denominator of 100 is 1 now multiplying numerators 15 and 100 gives 1500 and multiplying denominators 25 and 1 gives 25 now the quotient of 1500 and 25 equals 60 but wait since this since this is quite complicated to find the quotient of 1525 so these number could be reduced first 1500 has 0 at its units place and 25 has 5 that shows 1500 and 25 both are divisible by 5 so reducing 1500 by 5 gives 300 and reducing 25 by 5 gives 5 these number can further be reduced with 5 reducing 300 by 5 gives 60 and reducing 5 by 5 gives 1 that is not mentioned as the denominator now 60 percent of 25 is 50 this is how percent problems are solved next pause the video and solve this question yourself 25% of 8 is what? Twent, uh, put, put in the given values in the basic equation of percent problems. Now 25% means percent is 25. And of 8 means 8 is total here. And part is to be found. To find the value of part this 8 has to be removed from this side of the equation since 8 is dividing the part here multiplying 8 on the both sides this 8 cancels this 8 and part is separated out on the one side of the equation now simplify the other side of equation to find the value of part Multiplying numerators 25 and 8 gives 200 and multiplying denominators 100 and 1 gives 100. This fraction can easily be reduced by cancelling the zeros here like this. So 25% of 8 is 2. Another person problem has been solved. Next again pause the video and solve this last case of percent problems 3 is 60 percent of what put the given values in the basic equation of percent problems 60 percent means percent is 60 of what means total is unknown here that is to be found and 3 is our part here here the unknown is in denominator this could be complicated to separate it out to make this equation easy to solve just reciprocal both sides of the equations like this doing this on both sides does not change the value of the equation now this equation is same as the equations that has been dealt in the previous questions to remove 3 from here multiplying 3 on the both sides this 3 cancels this 3 and total is separated out on the one side of the equation now simplify the other side of equation to find the value of total multiplying numerators 103 gives 300 and multiplying 60 and 1 which are denominators give 60 cancelling the zeros first like this now the quotient of 30 and 6 equals 5 3 is 60 percent of 5 all the cases of person problems has been discussed now before you start practicing your own let's review what is discussed in this video there are three there are three cases possible in percent problems finding person finding part and finding total all the cases of person problems are solved using this basic equation part over total equals person over 100 
we just put in the given values in this equation an equation is solved for the values of unknown hope you have understood the percent problems now you can start practicing your own best of